I'm going to describe our HomeFlex pressure test gauge. The HomeFlex pressure test gauge is a 0 to 15 PSI scaled gauge. It is intended to perform the leak down test on your new installation of gas pipe. When you remove the test gauge from the bag, you'll see that it has a Schrader valve with a cap on it. The Schrader valve is where you're going to charge air into your system. This is a regular valve like you see on bicycle or car tires. The other end of the block is female pipe threads, three quarter inch. On top of the block is the scale zero to 15 PSI. You want to test your new system and you want to make sure that the system is isolated from an old existing system. There's no valves in the system. It's been isolated from that and you don't have any pressure regulators in the system. You only want to test the pipe and the joints that you've just made. If you need to fit your gauge to a pipe that's smaller or larger than 3 quarters inch, you can adapt it using bell reducers. Bell reducers will help you go from the needed 3 quarter inch size to half inch, or in this case, from the needed 3 quarter inch size to 1 inch. Be sure there's no valves in the system that you're testing. Keep in mind that many of these gas supply valves are only rated for a maximum of one half PSI. And in the case of our leak down test, we'll be testing with approximately 15 PSI, which is too much pressure to put on a valve. In this example, we're going to fit the gauge to a three quarter inch CSST male pipe thread. Be sure to use plenty of pipe thread sealing because you want to make sure your gauge does not leak. Be sure the gauge is sufficiently tight on the fitting and sealed for a successful leak test. After you've installed the test gauge on your system, it's time to charge it with air. You can use a regular bicycle pump or any compressed air source, such as from your compressor. It's just like putting air in a tire. Pressurize the system up to 15 PSI. Then remove the air supply. Test the needle to make sure that it's not stuck by simply reducing the air pressure in the system. Push the stem in the valve to verify the needle moves freely. Once you've achieved the test pressure you want to begin with, in this case, 15 PSI, start a timer. You want to watch that needle carefully for 15 to 30 minutes to make sure that the pressure does not go down in that time. If the pressure goes down, that would indicate a loss of pressure, therefore a leak. Then you'd have to find the leak and make the correction. Keep in mind that you must perform your leak test in accordance with your local code. In the absence of a local code, I recommend that you follow NFPA 54 for natural gas and NFPA 58 for propane gas. According to that test, for single family homes, you need to perform this test for a minimum of 10 minutes, never more than 24 hours. Your test pressure has to be a minimum of 1.5 times the system operating pressure, but never less than three. After you've reached the minimum of 10 minutes with no detectable loss of pressure, you can consider that a pass of the leak test. Before removing the gauge from your pipe fitting, be sure to release all of the air from the system. Push the stem in the center of the Schrader valve to release the air. After all the air has been released, then you can unthread the gauge from your pipe fitting. 